భారత అంతరిక్ష పరిశోధన సంస్థ ఇస్రో చరిత్రలో సరికొత్త అధ్యాయం లిఖితమైంది దేశంలో ఫస్ట్ టైం ప్రైవేట్ సంస్థ అభివృద్ధి చేసిన రాకెట్ నింగిలోకి దూసుకెళ్లింది శ్రీహరికోటలోని సతీష్ ధవన్ స్పేస్ సెంటర్ నుంచి ప్రైవేట్ రాకెట్ విక్రమ్ ఎస్ ను అంతరిక్షంలోకి పంపింది ఇస్రో రోదశిలో వాణిజ్యంలో భారీ ముందడిగేసింది విక్రమ్ సబార్బిటల్ రాకెట్ ను హైదరాబాద్ కు చెందిన స్కై రూట్ ఏరోస్పేస్ సంస్థ రూపొందించింది విక్రమ్ ఎస్ అని పిలుస్తున్నారు దీన్ని దేశీయ అంతరిక్ష పరిశోధనలకు పితామహుడిగా భావించే డాక్టర్ విక్రమ్ సారాభాయ్ కు నివాళిగా ఈ పేరు పెట్టారు అలాగే తొలి ప్రైవేట్ రాకెట్ కావటం వల్ల ఈ మిషన్ కు ప్రారంభ మిషన్ గా నామకరణం చేశారు at 20 seconds flight time we have reached mark 5 which means it is flying at 5 times the velocity of sound and with this the vehicle has achieved hypersonic velocities it looks like we do have successful burnout and the flight trajectory is tracking as per the prediction rocket is now at the altitude of 66 kilometers 67 now we have completed 80 seconds of flight time we are around 34 seconds away from the launch pad and the totally intended trajectory is being followed the present altitude is 75 kilometers as we slowly go towards our target of crossing 80 kilometers and way beyond that uh, nominally we expect to be around 100 kilometers uh, uh, when the peak altitude occurs see the screen views from the mission control center 86 kilometers in altitude we are at 85 kilometers now and slowly and steadily we are reaching our peak altitude uh, if you can see it on the screens the altitude profile is being shown around 133 seconds have passed we are very close to the our peak altitude we are now at around 88 kilometers peak altitude and uh, everything has gone as per we have planned we are very close to the peak altitude now the peak altitude performance has been reached at around 155 seconds and now slowly the rocket will start its descent actually it has just started from 88 kilometers now it has come to around 87.1 kilometer the peak altitude being met this mission today has given a good success, successful satisfactory performance as intended by us ji ha ek safal udan pratham udan vikram s ke liye prarambh bada hi rochak raha ye rocket apni gantavya tak bhi pahuncha aur ab apni altitude ko ghatane ke कोशिश में मात्र 70 किलोमीटर की ऑल्टीट्यूड पर अब ये रॉकेट स्थित है दिस रॉकेट अचीव द एपोजी ऑफ 89.5 किलोमीटर दैट इज द पीक ऑल्टीट्यूड अचीव बाय दिस रॉकेट वॉज 89.5 पॉइंट फाइव अवर टारगेट वॉज टू क्रॉस एटी किलोमीटर एज यू ऑल नो एटी किलोमीटर इज कॉमनली डिफाइंड एज द स्टार्ट ऑफ स्पेस so this rocket successfully went into space as we intended and now after completing its mission of achieving the peak orbit creating the conditions for the payloads to function and uh, completing its job successfully it is or it is on its way back to a safe splash down in the bay of bengal as we have intended the range right now is 115 kilometers away from shar and we expect it to impact somewhere around 130 kilometers away from shar the whole thing has gone as per planned ye bahut hi khushi ki baat hai ki sky route ki taraf se unke pehle abhiyan mein hi jo unhone plan kiya tha jo humne plan kiya tha wo hum successful rahe aur ab ye rocket apne splash down ke bahut hi nazdeek hai aur hum kisi bhi shan ab splash down के करेंगे और ये मिशन सक्सेसफुली अकम्प्लिश हो जाएगा आ, हम यहां पर 
बधाई देना चाहेंगे इन स्पेस को जिन्होंने इस पूरे मिशन को रेगुलेट किया गाइड किया हम बधाई देना चाहेंगे सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर श्रीहरिकोटा को जिन्होंने जिन्होंने ये हमें फैसिलिटेट किया इसरो को इसरो चेयरमैन को वी थैंक ऑल दिस पीपल वी आर हम्बल्ड बाय द सपोर्ट विच वी गॉट हैप्पी व्यूज फ्रॉम द मिशन कंट्रोल एंड या एंड नाउ वी टेक लीव फ्रॉम यू गुड बाय फ्रॉम अवर साइड हैंडिंग ओवर टू श्री पवन गोयन का चेयरमैन इन स्पेस फॉर इस स्पीच Thank you viewers goodbye Thank you viewers for joining us we sign off Safety officer confirm uh, clear launch uh, Please stand by we are going for inspection will assess and clear rather is normal Good morning. I'm happy to announce the successful completion of Mission Pradham, the beginning of a sky route aerospace. The rocket VKS took off at LEA of 80 degrees and azimuth of 100 degrees, achieved an altitude of 89.5 kilometers. and a range of 121.2 kilometers exactly what was planned by skyroot aerospace all systems as i can make out worked as planned and skyroot aerospace has demonstrated capability of various subsystems that will go into the orbital launch vehicle i congratulate skyroot aerospace their team members and thank various centers of isro specifically SDSC Strac and VSSC team members of in space led by director PMA Dr Jain and director technical Mr Rajiv Jyoti and many thanks to multiple reviews conducted by experts from ISRO in space and from outside uh, for the mission readiness and launch uh, uh, clearance led by Dr B Suresh this is a new beginning for indian private sector entry into space and it's a historic moment for all of us we have the pleasure of having honorable minister of state dr jitendra singh here with us to give us encouragement and i request him to give his thoughts on what this today's mission means for our country dr singh congratulations india it is indeed a new beginning a new dawn and i shall i say very appropriately as our team members have put it a new prarambh in the journey of india's space program and very many thanks to honorable prime minister modi ji who has made this effort possible by opening up the space sector to public private participation it's also a, a major step forward to india developing its own space ecosystem and emerging as a front line nation in the community of world nations and of course a turning point in india's startup movement well done team sky route the count the co-founders can join me here pavan iit khadakpur alumni bharat iit madras alumni who have worked day and night to make this possible and of course 
ಕುಡೋಸ್ ಇಸ್ರೋ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೇ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಏಟೀನ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ನವೆಂಬರ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಯೆಟ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಫೆದರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಮಚ್ ಡೆಕೋರೇಟೆಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ರೋ ಫಾರ್ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ನೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅ ನೇಷನ್ ಟು ವಿಚ್ others would look forward to vital cues in the journey of space sector thanks once again congratulations congratulations everybody well done and i request uh, pavan chandana mission director for prarambha mission and also co-founder of Skyroot uh, to talk about what it took to reach up to this point. And Bharat is the co-founder of, uh, of Skyroot. He is also here. Honorable Un Union Minister of State, Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji, Secretary Department of Space, Dr. Somnath Ji, Chairman in Space, Dr. Pawan Goenka Ji, Director Shar, director vssc respected guests our colleagues and everyone watching this online we are very excited to announce that we scripted history today by successfully launching india's first privately developed rocket vikram s yes. the vehicle reached space to an altitude of 89.5 kilometers and completed the required mission objectives this praram mission as the name signifies is the beginning of a new era in the indian space ecosystem team skyro dedicates this successful mission to dr vikram sarabhai who boldly started the indian space program in the 1960s and honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji who unlocked the space sector to the private players and most importantly we thank in space and isro all their teams and their dynamic leadership who enable this mission in this most efficient way with the able help of isro this challenging mission was executed by a startup skyroot and our very new space regulator in space within just 2 years from the government announcing space reforms ladies and gentlemen this param mission symbolizes not only india's first private rocket launch it also symbolizes the potential of new india we thank each and every team member of skyroot for making this historic moment a reality and their family members for supporting them throughout this challenging journey and importantly we thank all our shareholders who have been our backbone in this endeavor this is a small step by a startup and a giant leap for the indian space industry it's just the praram of a great future thank you may i not request rajiv jyoti technical director in space to talk about the role played by isro and in space in facilitating this launch very good morning to all of you at the outset let me also congratulate the skyroot team for scripting and making a new beginning in the indian space sector with the maiden launch of this rocket prarambh respected honorable union minister of state dr jitendra singh ji and our honorable uh, uh, secretary department of space and our uh, chairman in space our uh, member finance team skyroot especially pawan and bhagat bharat team led isro which is led by director vssc director shar and director israq today's success is the culmination of efforts which is being made by various isro centers who pro proactively contributed in the launch mission of this rocket designed and built by a private company skyroot the whole launch support was given by by provided with they were provided in various forms like 
today's shar was have given is sdsc srf the sounding rocket complex launch pad for its operation for the private launch pad private launch uh, rocket sounding rocket integration and check out facilities tracking radar support the ranging and tracking operations ground and range safeties ndt testing and many mission hardware which were supplied to uh, sky route team and istrek also provided a support for compatibility test at the development at the development phase and ground station support during the launch in the receiving telemetry which you are seeing on your screens for all this support department of space and in space have facilitated sky route by signing multiple triparty joint project implementation plan with multiple isro centers praram being made in flight safety was the paramount importance so no stone was left unturned various expert committees were constituted to review the requirements of launch system mission and operation i compliment the sky route team for providing compliance to all those recommendations which were given during the various element phase the mission review and the launch review committee chaired by veteran rocket expert dr b n suresh and the member from isro and in space and ex officio experts from isro they all critically reviewed each and every mission readiness requirements launch vehicle systems integration preparations quality experts as well as the most important the safety guidelines finally after obtaining all the compliances of all the actions shar range safety clearance was obtained committee was got a confidence and gave approval for the final launch i really i thanks to god, rain god also that we are lucky that today we got a favorable launch window during this cyclonic month i'm sure that flight data of this mission will be received which are received at the various ground station is going to be very useful for sky route for their future mission we will be giving not only for this performance of vehicle but also give confidence for their next orbital mission so this being a technology demonstration of flight it will help to validate their systems which has gone as a payload into this launch vehicle on the behalf of in space team i once again congratulate the team skyroot and looking forward to work for your upcoming orbital missions isro is with you Th thanks to the department of space chairman isro and secretary dos mrr and launch vehicle committee for giving guidance during this landmark journey of great achievement jai hind